Jesus reveals himself to those who diligently seek him and he gives them the Holy Spirit as proof and confirmation of his acceptance. We read in Acts chapter 10 of Cornelius, an Italian, who was seeking righteousness. He was seeking the Lord. And the Lord sent an angel to him who told him to go and fetch Peter to come and minister to him. And a Peter, who was a Jew, who did not have any communion with Gentiles, would otherwise not have gone. But at the same time, he was also praying. And the Lord gave him three visions, which convicted him to go with the messengers, the servants of Cornelius, who came to fetch him. And Peter went and he preached the gospel to this man, Cornelius, and his family. And a wonderful thing happened. The Holy Spirit came on them exactly the same as it did on the disciples on the day of Pentecost. We read in Acts chapter 10, verse 44. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who were listening to the message. And all the circumcised believers who had come with Peter were amazed, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out upon the Gentiles also. For they were hearing them speaking with tongues and exalting God. Then Peter answered, Surely no one can refuse the water for these to be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we did, can he? And he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus reveals himself to all those who truly seek him. And he confirms his acceptance of them by giving them the gift of the Holy Spirit. And he promised to all those who love him and who obey him. Have you received the proof of acceptance, the baptism in the Holy Spirit? It is not a guarantee of salvation. But it is proof that Jesus Christ has accepted you. Have you received that proof? The baptism in the Holy Spirit. May Jesus bless you.